Mrs. Pelagan. You can have a look. Here's everything in detail. Citizens who have outstanding debts must... Listen to me. I've never taken on any loans. Is this your signature? Yes, it's mine. I've signed some documents of my husband, but... Look, I'll definitely tackle this issue, but now please let me go. The boarding has already started. I don't want to miss my flight. I'm flying to my kids. I beg you, please let Mrs. me go. Mrs. Pelagin, if we were to let you go without a check, then everyone will say, oh, she must have paid off the police and they've taken a bribe again. And that's something we don't really need around here. I'm not going to pay you anything, sorry. Oh, very well then. I mean, that is right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Is everything okay? Good day, sir. Uh, what's going on? Is she being detained? Have you drawn up a report? Hmm. We were just talking, and who are you? I'm her attorney, actually. Well, I don't see any legal basis for keeping her here. Is that her passport there? Mm-hmm. May I? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Thank you. We still have some questions. It's all right. I can answer them in her stead. All right, kids, pack your stuff this way. Spread them out well. The soft stuff, close to your back, so that it won't rub you sore. The essentials on top are in pockets. Is it clear? Yes! I said, is it clear? Yes! If it's clear, who wants to try? Oh, me! 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 Mafe, come on. He doesn't need it. He's not going to carry a bag. His dad will give him a baby bag and a nanny. <laughs> I'll get you for this. I bet you can't without your nanny. She's not a nanny. She's just, oops. Well done, Matvey. Very good. And diapers. <laughs> Matvey, ignore him. Hey, stop it now, boys. That's enough. Come on, break it up. <sighs> he hurt my hand. If you annoy me again, I'll break it off. <laughs> All right, get back to work. Come on, we need to hurry. We I mean, who wrote these crappy laws anyway? I'm such an idiot. All these years I've been signing papers blindly. Well, he had been pinning credits on me. So what now? Taxi! Where are you going? To the railway, railway station. Railway station? What railway station? Stop, get please. enough. You can't go to the railway. They'll detain you at the border. I'll get you there by car. How will you? I know the roads. I'll get you there. You've signed travel restrictions. You can't cross the border. I can drive myself. My dad has a car. My brother has a license. I'll go to my parents. We'll go by car. Take care. Margarita, please come to my office. What is it? Listen, I'm leaving for a while. If there's a call from Moscow, don't give them my number. Write everything down, I'll return and call them back. Where are you going, huh? Firstly, we're on formal terms. Secondly, you should address me as Mr. Lokhtov. Victor, I thought we had a relationship. Our work, Margarita, and our relationship are two different things. Right now, we are here to work. So I expect you to work by first answering the darn phone! 
Victor. I'll tell you for the last time, not Victor. Mr. Lotiv. Hi there. Hello. I... I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to give you any double talk. I'm going to be frank and honest with you. Your father wants to ruin me. None of us can ever be happy that way. Not you, not me, no one. You are more beautiful than anyone I've ever known. You are perfect in every way. Literally, you're like a goddess. It's different for her and me, Anastasia. You mean it's love? I don't know. Anastasia, Anastasia, wait, <laughs> listen to me. Try to understand me, please. Can you do that for me? Understand? Yes, I beg you. My dad says the same thing to my mom before he goes off to do a bad thing. Andre, please try to understand me. And just tell me why you've come here. I came to ask for your help. I wouldn't have if things were different. It's difficult, really difficult. Why is it that we have to keep hurting and tormenting each other? Can't we work something out, you and me? Make him stop! Andre, I thought that when you called me, that you would ask me to get back together with you. Anastasia, I just need you to make him stop. Please help me. Anastasia, make him stop, please. Okay. Okay, I... I will tell him to stop. Will you do that? I love you. Thank you, Anastasia. I'm sorry. Dad, why is Gavriushov still on the loose? Okay, move to the right. And now back. Um, to the left. Did you just stick out your tongue at me? Shame on you. Hey, you heard me. I didn't hear anything. I told you, right? It's what you call a sixth sense. Come on, you try. Ready? Yes. Now, we'll cover your eyes with this, okay? There. Hang on. Is that okay? That's okay. Ready? I'm ready. Begin. To the right, to the left, to the right again, to the center, right? <laughs> Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. You wanna give up? You wanna give up? Huh? <laughs> All right. We can go to 
first name? Basis. Let's play for flicks. For flicks? Yes. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Come on. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors lucky, lucky, lucky me. me. Who will be, be the, the winner? winner? One, two, two three. three. So I lost. Yes, you A did. A flick on my forehead? No way. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. No, no, Madvey. No, no. Help me. <laughs> Guys, help me. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, do you only give consultations to people regarding divorce or do you also hold sessions? Uh huh. No, I just have no experience in this area. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, I just don't want to be left holding the bag here. Husband? Oh, you know, he's such a tough bugger. He'll wade through rough water, I tell you. Okay, I got it. I will have to prepare thoroughly then. Thank you, I'll be patiently waiting for your call. Goodbye. Daria, are you serious about the divorce? No one has ever heard me like that before. Daria, I'm sorry. You were missing the whole night. You didn't tell me anything, so I snapped. And what if it were the other way around and you were the one missing? Where did you spend the night? He won't believe me anyway. Does it hurt? That badly? A bit. You're lucky I didn't kick it in. Daria, where did you spend the night? I went to see Irina last night. She called me and she was begging me to come because divorce is no joke, you know? On top of that, Andre is being put under pressure. They want to take his business. So she asked me to talk to you, hoping that you can intervene somehow or do something about it. What, what can I do? I can't... Uh, uh, I can't go against my own brother. What can I do? What that do you expect me to do? brother of yours has nothing to do with it. Daria, who is Don't it, you dare touch me. It's because of... that... father of his ex-girlfriend who's hurting him. Kormuhin, I think is his name. Ah, Kormuhin, I know him, of course. He's a big influence in our city. Daria, I will certainly tackle it somehow. I swear. All right then, Loktev. Do your thing. All right. Daria, you have my word. Please don't divorce from me. I love you so much. Daria. And I love you too. Even though you're a real pain. <laughs> Not now. I'm sorry. Miss Valeria, talk to me. Sorry? I don't know what you're supposed to do. Convince me that our parents are good people. Life is not a bed of roses, and I had to understand it. You don't have to say anything. Adults say these things to make life easier for themselves. They always say things like, of course, kids do this and kids do that. Just listen and keep out of our way. But what you really need to do is to think of yourself and your future. What do you personally want? Be honest, please. I want a, a house by the seaside, a handsome and a smart man, and do nothing all day. Well, of course, I'm going to work, but later. Hmm. So who do you suppose? can make all these nice things happen for you in the future. My dad, I suppose. <laughs> yes, your dad. And that's not because I take his side. I don't care. Even if you're sent to an orphanage, I'm actually just doing my job. I'm miles from nowhere speaking to a girl 
who doesn't even know what she wants. Do you think I take pleasure in this? You're kind of weird. Why do you say that? You speak with all honesty. Adults do the opposite. Remember, Maria, the most boring thing in life is to be an average person. To rise above it, you have to know what you need, what's important to you, what your interests are, and the rest is nonsense. Where is Anton? No idea. He must be with his friends. Did he say when he'd be back? He promised to return for dinner. <sighs> Tell me what happened. Why do you travel by car? It's faster. But not that fast. You could have lived quietly and calmly. Mom, please. I could have been rotten quietly. So, boys and girls, now we're going to repeat these animal names. Wolf. Wolf! Wolf. Elephant. Uh, yes, Maria. Excuse me, please. Yes, of course. Thank you. I can't so? talk now. Hello, Maria. Why haven't you been answering your phone? What's going on? Tiger. Mom, I don't Tiger. want to speak on the phone. Bird. You'll come anyway. Bird. Let's talk Dog. then. What's up with your voice? Has your dad been telling you something? Oh, nothing really. He's just trying to comfort me and that woman. What woman are you talking about? She's kind of a psychologist. Psychologist again? What does she want? Why is she with you? Hello? You'll find out when you come here, okay? Sorry, I have to okay, go. Okay, now I want to ask you, what is your favorite animal? Maria, what is your favorite animal? Um, my favorite animal is a whale. Something's not right here. Someone is working on my children, some psychologist. And I'm just sitting here. Okay, fine. I'm going there. You're not going alone. That's right. I'll go with her. We'll go together, but in my car. But why in your car, Dad? Because I don't know how to drive your foreign ones. Too complicated for me. Let's get going. Maybe we should take mine. My dear. If anything happens to your car, I won't be able to fix it. As for mine, I can fix it with my eyes closed. So don't you worry. This has rounded the equator thrice, so it'll take you wherever you need to go. And get you back in one piece. Dad, I love you so much. Come on, then. Let's go. Hurry up and get inside. Dad this, dad that. <sighs> gonna come? Yeah. I have no idea. Are we cool? <laughs> All the guys says I'm cool because my parents are rich and because my dad has built this camp. If I were someone else, I had been expelled quickly. I think they're just jealous of you. I do not want them to be jealous. I want them all to be my friends. When my mom comes, I will go to Moscow with her. Your mom may not come very soon. But why not? She probably got other things to do. All right, then I'll go myself.
Have they sent the photos? No, they promised to send them. No photos yet. What floor is it? The fifth. Uh, need to go to the seventh. Hey, do you know the owner of the flat? Andrei Gavryushov. My granny's upstairs. Hmm. <sighs> Why did he go up the fifth if his granny lives on the seventh? Mm hmm. Wait right there! <laughs> Downstairs! Hello, Mr. Palagin. You've come to visit us? Where's Kovalchuk? Kovalchuk! What? How much have you spent? What do you want? I can't tell you exactly. Give me a straight answer! Uh, Mr. Palagin, good afternoon. How's it going? Everything all right, I hope? This is not a construction site. It's a mess. Food's awful, wages are low. There's no qualified workers here. They've hired only gin heads. I asked him why, and he says, no money. You shut your mouth, you idiot! So where is the money, Kovalchuk? Have you buried it in the ground? Sir, as I've reported to you, the prices on materials have risen three times. There's nothing I can do. Should I be worrying about that? Go look for it in there! <laughs> Start it up! No, wait! No, Mr. Verlagen! Mr. Verlagen! Don't do this! This is murder, Mr. Balagan! I'm begging you! It will be an accident at the construction site. Mr. Balagan! Oh, please! Please! No! Please! B please, Mr. Balagan! Don't! I'll return it! I'll return everything! Of course you will, you maggot! You see? Slime ball! Now pull him up. Get to it. Get a wire rope. Come here, you. Have you been here for a long time? Long enough. Yeah, I lined up at the construction guild and got a job here. There was no job in my field, so I'm carrying timber. This clown will carry the timbers, and you'll take his place. He's a good guy. Come on, hire him. Mm. Let's go, Boris. Anastasia. Hello. Have... have you talked to your father? Of course. What's up? Where are you? Ah, that's it. Yeah, I get it. No, no, no. It's all right. Are you crazy? What do you think of me? I got it, Anastasia. Where... where am I? To be honest, I'd rather not tell you. Bye. I already told you, Andre. Don't ever trust women! It used to be easy pickings for us. You'd receive an order and we'd have time to prepare. And now? If you go to prison, what are we gonna do? I get it. You get it. Anastasia saw a chance for revenge. So instead of helping me, she decided to get even. So what now, huh? Don't you understand anything, huh? Why are you still here then? Go to Germany or the UK, huh? The UK's not an option. I need to go to Belarus to help Irina. To where? To Belarus? What about your travel restrictions? Great thinking. Damn it all, I'm sick and tired of this. I'll sell all my shares and leave. To Thailand or somewhere. I'll live there. Make love to Thai girls. Walk on the beach naked. Where are you going? With you. Can't let you go alone.
Victor! What? Vic! It's for you. Can't they give me a come break? On, come I'm on, the boss. Can't I spend a day with my wife? Just answer the phone? Yes, hello? Oh, uh, sure. No problem. Sure, I can. Yes, right now. Daria, they've called from the center. There must be a positive decision. Oh, really? Uh, put that down! <laughs> Daria, stop it! Enough! <laughs> Daria, give me that! Give it! Daria, wait! Stop! Time out! That's it! No time! Ah! Shoot! I tripped! <laughs> Victor, uh, don't forget to put on the suit that we bought in Italy! Uh, all right. <laughs> Dang, I hurt my foot. <laughs> Yuri, good afternoon. My name is Andre. We... I think it would be safer for Irina to ride with us. Your car is very good indeed, but my friend and I will make sure to take Irina across the border and get her back safe and sound. So you're Andre. I trust you. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Andre, it's dangerous. You can't go. Irina, don't worry. We'll be but fine. Now get your stuff. Promise me, you'll take care of her. You take care, Dad. Bye. Have a safe journey. They're not answering. So what's her story going to be? Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> I'm serious. Maybe some racing competition. International one. <laughs> but we don't have sports cars. But we're sportsmen anyway. Yes, especially me. A real racer. You're my co-driver. <laughs> me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, my love. Thanks for everything. All right. <laughs> what a nice suit we've bought for you in Italy, right? Uh -huh. Isn't it tight? <laughs> no, it isn't. Just lose some weight. You're young, handsome. You're gonna be a president, you'll see. How can I quit on such a man? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Naria, tell me, what about Irina and my brother Igor? As bad as can be. How about... What about the kids? I don't understand it. Hitting a raw nerve? Well, I was surprised. She has always been a true angel. Why are you looking at me like that, Victor? Here we go again? Comparing her to me? I know I'm not an angel. I am what I am, exposed to everyone. I have no secrets and like someone. Daria, don't quit on me. Victor, no one quits on men like you. Daria. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Palagin, 
Matvey was in the camp at breakfast. He was eating well, enjoying his meal. Later he attended class as trainings, and then, then we couldn't find him. He, he somehow slipped away. It was just an oversight, sir. <laughs> we'll surely find Matvey. Please, don't worry. We're on it. You're darn right, because it's you who needs to worry. And God forbid, if anything happens to my son, I will personally break your knees yes, with a baseball yes. bat. Better start searching right away. Yes, of course. Hello. Palagin's son is missing from the summer camp Barvinok. Yes, yes, Mr. Palagin's son. Follow standard search procedure. Forest, roads, railway stations. Why did we take this turn? Don't worry, I'll be back in a sec. What's up? The border is 6.2 miles from here. And? We won't pass the checkpoint. Do you remember we drove through here five years ago? There's a fjord in 1.2 so? miles. If we cross it, we're good from there. What? Are you serious? This is an illegal border crossing. Article 322 of the criminal code is still in effect. What crossing do you mean? We just lost our way in the forest. Lost our way? Yes, we were picking mushrooms. What's the problem? Mushrooms? You can still go to prison for that. Fine. It's not the first time I heard that threat. Are you with us? Do I really have a choice? Let's get a move on! Listen guys, Matvey Balagin is missing. So I want you all to start looking around the whole camp for him. Go check the utility areas. Please stay close to the adults and by no means should you go far into the woods. Is that clear? Yes! We'll spread out across the whole camp territory starting with this area here. Understood? Yes! Let's go. Over there. Follow if you find me. anything, immediately report to me. Is that clear? All right. You said we understood each other perfectly. How can you explain this from a professional point of view, Valeria? Let's do without the sarcasm, Mr. Palagin. But of course, I can explain this professionally. If you think that you can change the boy completely in a couple of days, that's being unrealistic. It's a lot of hard work. One step forward, two it steps back. It is not back. just two steps back. It's a betrayal of trust. Maybe he ran over to Maria's camp? It's 1.2 miles away. We went there together on foot. Uh, what if he didn't? Maybe we should go to the police. No, we will not. <laughs> no police. Let's go. Should I come with you? Of course. Stop, wait! Damn it. It's stuck? Get in, I'll push you. All right. Come on! The wheels aren't touching bottom! <laughs> This sucks. What are we gonna do? Push it. Just stay in the car. Let me help you. No problem. Problem. Come on. One more time. Come on, step on it!
has Matve talked to you? No. Or called you? No. We don't talk at home, much less on the phone. My goodness. You are older, so you should know better. I'm so tired of being better. I will run away to or leave with mom. What do you mean leave with mom? <sighs> she called on her way here. When did she? Today. <laughs> well then. Did Matve know his mom was coming? No, I told him that she's too busy to come. He told me to say so if ever he would ask. I have no idea. I've got her locked down from every direction. <sighs> That's it. I'm gonna call the police, so alert them. That's my decision. Call them! You did not take the wheel. Yes, Be yes. Careful. Yes, good afternoon. Yes, of course, I understand, but I'm afraid... I'm afraid <gasps> I won't make it in time today. Mr. Gavrizhov, what are you talking about? You've signed travel restrictions. You must come at my call and be con. I'm afraid that I won't make it today. I'm outside Moscow. You're not allowed. No, no, I'm in Zelenograd. It's a part of Moscow, so I'm not breaking the law. I'm in a traffic jam. Yes. Okay. I'll reset it tomorrow morning. Be here at 9 a.m. sharp. It's a deal. Thank you. I appreciate it. Goodbye. Uh, uh, come on. Floor it! Come, come on! on! Come on! Uh, 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 it's moving! It's working! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Come on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the phone. The phone, the phone. Hello? Any good news for me? Yes, I'm coming. To Belarus, I'm almost there. It doesn't matter. You'd better explain why I was banned at the airport. Was it because of you? What do you mean? Missing? How? Where has he gone? Hello? Who's missing? Oh my goodness. Who's missing? What face gone? What happened? What happened? I Hit don't it. know. Come on. Hello? Let's go. <sighs> One ticket to Moscow, please. To Moscow? Are your parents with you? Please, I just really need to go home. All right, wait a minute. Stay here, please. Hello, ma'am. Please come to the ticket office. A child seems to be lost. Do you need to go to Moscow? Do your mom and dad know about it? No. Alexei, we're approaching the border. Seems like we're being followed. It's unmarked. I don't recognize them. These two are coming for us. What are we gonna do? They don't look like our friends for sure, so come on. We can't afford to get stuck here. Did you get that? That's it. Stop here. Just sit quietly. I'll talk to them. If anything goes wrong, leave immediately. Understand? Is it bad? Best it'll cost us a sum. What about the worst? We need to understand who they are. Gentlemen, 
How can I help you? You crossed the border of the Russian Federation. You're in the catch land. Why did you bypass the checkpoint? How is that possible? I thought I was still far from the border. Where exactly are you from? Why are you using a radio set? We're Russians. Radio sets are definitely legal. Who am I talking to? Show me your documents. Oh, of course, sir. Here are my documents. Please take note that I didn't refuse to show you the documents. My friends and I made a wrong turn, and we wanted to take a shortcut, but instead we got lost. Now it's your turn. Get in the car. How about you show your documents, huh? How should I address you? What are your ranks? Your uniforms are unmarked. Who are you? I demand you tell me. That's no concern of yours. Now what get do you back. Mean? Why are you pushing me? Get you in the car. Do as I say. Yeah, come on, I'll tough put guy. you in the trunk. Keep your hands off me. Show me your documents. <laughs> It's all right here, Mr. Lokdev. You can see if you take a look at this map, all the transport problems we face. I heard, though, that in your town, you nearly solved this problem. Uh, yes, we have. Take a seat, Thank please. you. The first thing I did was to get rid of all the fixed route taxis. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, we bought 20 new buses. This made the locals very happy. Then I made all the mayor's administration ride bikes. And for a month, all the officials were riding bikes to get to work. It actually made them healthier, too. Well, that is interesting. So, at first, you are going to be responsible for transport. Mr. Lokdev, who would you recommend for your previous position? I don't know. There's the official election to come. Of course, of course. 
So I'd like to choose someone who'll be elected. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead, answer. My wife. Hello, honey. I'm at work. I can't talk right now. Uh, just send the size by text. <laughs> I love you. Uh, she's worried about me. <laughs> I see. It seems like everything's good in your family. Oh, it's wonderful. Whereas Mr. Palagin has some problems. By the way, do you happen to know how things stand? Uh, more or less fine. Don't worry, it'll be all right, I promise. God bless them, God bless them. Okay, then. I'll see you again. Thank Goodbye. you. Get your feet from under the table, and I'll Thank be you. seeing you. Goodbye. Is there anything else? I uh, yeah, have a personal question to you, but it can wait until next no, time. No, you may ask now, you may ask now. Do you know a person whose surname is Kormukin? Kormukin? I suppose I do. Strange things are happening in our city as of late. There's a man called Gavryushov, a young guy, racer, competition winner, our honor, our symbol, a model citizen of our city. But then this Kormukin is pressuring him. This Kormukin has no relation to the security ministries. He's not our man, Mr. Lokdev, he's not. It's hard to communicate with him. It's nearly impossible. Although... If you'll become a member of our team... We'll come up with something. <laughs> By the way, now we are... Focusing on supporting small businesses, so to say. We need to help good people. So that these good people will in turn help us someday, right? Right. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. It's simple math. That's right. Sherpakov scald. You're saying it as if the whole country knows this Sherpakov. The whole country, in fact, knows this Sherpakov. To put it in simple terms, your Andre just happens to be a man with good connections. Has he petitioned for him? He won't petition for anyone. This is the same as passing the ball to a foreign defender. But he asked about it. He kind of hinted at it earlier. Um, he hoped that maybe we wouldn't escalate it. But that's exactly what I was planning to do. Exactly to escalate. So he'd go mad. <laughs> Bastard. Maybe we should stop. Maybe... Leave him in peace. <laughs> Let him live. Sure. Let him live. Get married. Have children. A lot. He'll regret it, of course. But if he spends five years in jail, he'll think hard about it. So what now? I don't know what. That's enough. You're drunk. 